Hi, Larry Stewart here with 4constructionpros.com. I want you to meet Tanner Faust, who is a racer, a stunt driver, and a representative for Hot Wheels. You've done uh, uh, longest jump and highest loop for Hot Wheels, right? That's right, yeah, those were two awesome projects. It was like, you know, a Toys for Real project yeah. where uh, we built toy sets that I grew up playing with. You know, Double Dare Loop, um, the V-Drop, which is a big drop there for a big long jump, yeah. and then we did both of those toys for real. Um, but when you take like a Hot Wheels toy set and you make it for real, on that scale, the byproduct is you get a world record out of it. So uh, it was awesome to do those. Fantastic. So name your favorite uh, custom track design when you were a kid with Hot Wheels that you've actually done in real life. I mean, well, the V-Drop was my favorite because okay. I love the fact that it used gravity. You ratchet a car up a door, which in at the beginning of the Indy 500, gentlemen, start your engines right there. We actually had a hundred foot tall door made okay and the truck was up at the top of this door with you know the orange track coming down and you and i love that you use gravity to get to speed to do whatever stunts you're going to do and in that case it was a 332 foot jump peoria's message with this project is that the same kind of thrill kids get building a new layout with hot wheels ever orange track can be found in executing an innovative construction design how did, I mean, did you know when you, uh, when you were playing with Hot Wheels or somewhere, when did you know when, when, you, when you went from playing with Hot Wheels to uh, thinking, wow, I might just be driving this car upside down someday? I had no, I mean, come on, right? I mean, <laughs> I cr out of the thousand jumps I made with my Hot Wheels cars, maybe one ended up on its wheels. So I don't know if you would sign up to do that in the real car on right, purpose. Right. I think it started as a concept. I was racing and doing stunts for movies and hosting some TV shows. And my uh, uh, somebody, my manager at the time was like, hey, we're gonna talk about doing this Hot Wheels thing. That turned from a dinner conversation into a diagram where this little tiny speck in the middle of this giant ramp was the actual truck. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, I, I, I don't know if this is really gonna happen <laughs> or not. And we kept going through the conversation. Next thing you know, they're showing construction photographs and it's really happening, so. Wow. So you um, were were already on TV. Uh, was that hosting Top Gear? I had hosted several shows uh, before Top Gear came along. I don't remember exactly what year, but it was um, it was a great adventure. We went on the road with Rut Lidgewood and Adam Ferrara and myself for uh, six years and and shot a bunch of great stuff and just really fell in love with car culture and car people. And um, the whole time did, you know, a lot of stunts on the show mm -hmm. and filmed for a lot of movies doing stunts and Fast and Furious and, and Iron Man movies. And, you know, just so anytime there's a car chase and you get to be involved in it, I, I, I really love that aspect of the movies. Cats, heavy hardware, move thousands of yards of dirt, creating a sandbox for real life cars at its Edwards Demonstration Center. They carved a tight track layout into a steeply sloped space that mirrors the climbs and drops that maintain a Hot Wheels momentum. So you go from the, the imagination of Hot Wheels and uh, running cars down the door uh, to, to hit the loop to imagining how you can, what, what level of racing you could get into, you know, just in your, out of your garage to, how can I hop this up a little bit? And so there's a whole lot of, a lot of sort of picturing what what you where you want to go in your mind involved in this i always had to make a bit of a business of it i had to understand how to make a living just in case this racing stuff doesn't work out you know the tv hosting i could keep that going or the stunt driving yeah. and so that it for me it was important to have multiple you'd be a little more diverse there mm -hmm. maybe call it insecurity but it's more probably um just making sure it lasted and I've been doing it now 25 years and it's and it's been a great run and now you get back to the point where you're back into Hot Wheels again in the toys, which makes it feel full circle, I will admit. Yeah. Um, but uh, that's, that's, that's the goal eventually is to get on the marketing side of things yeah. and to help influence forward thinking companies like Caterpillar and like Hot Wheels that want to do fun things to promote what they do for work. Yeah. And um, so it's a great opportunity now with these companies coming together for us to play in this insane playground that they've made with some insane toys and have fun and actually be a part of like a relevant business marketing effort. Where does the challenge come in, in a, a project like this? Well, any project has its unique challenges, whether it's, you know, racing or business or uh, some sort of a merger of company, you know, whatever. Um, 
And in this one, interestingly enough, the track surface and building of the location, which is usually the challenge, is not a challenge because we have these big giant things right. and all the equipment from Caterpillar you can imagine to make whatever you can dream up. So that side of it now is not an issue. The vehicles are pretty adventurous, but most of these Hot Wheels cars were used in some sort of record breaking spectacle. Oh. So they were built, when you get to that point, they're built for a purpose. Flying the cars around this track was a job for people with experience behind the wheel. The stunt drivers who made this dream a fast and loud reality have a story to tell about STEM, the education disciplines of science, technology, engineering, and math, bringing imagined thrills to life. So there are some challenges with the actual vehicles that Greg and I will overcome. We'll work with Billy Hammond who built those cars and we'll make them do their job for this. But what I love about this kind of project is that um, it's only really limited by the imagination. Uh, when you're having a thing, you know, you have a kid in a playground and then you, we came over this hill and we looked at this backdrop here and it's like, oh my God, it, that, it's a giant sandbox. Right. Again, those, those things look like toys, but they're actually 30 feet high. And, you know, so you can, your mind kind of gets blown every time you realize what you're doing for a living right now. Yeah. And that's, I do love that about this project. It's awesome. Well, you know, thanks so much, Shannon. What, what have you got coming up next? I've uh, been working on a movie in, in Germany, actually, so I'll leave straight from here, go back to Germany, and then um, doing some stunt driving stuff there, and then we have a Rallycross series starting at the end of this year, and next year I think I'll be doing some uh, more electric racing, mm -hmm. which is as part of a manufacturer-sponsored racer, that's an inevitable part of your future. Sure. I've learned so much just in the few electric races I've done, it, mm. some advantages and current disadvantages that will soon go away, but um, it's fascinating just to be a part of something new, really. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. gosh, the torque involved in electric motors. Torque, there's so few moving parts, you're no longer really worried about the reliability. Now it's focusing on suspension and temperature and 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 battery and charging and, and thinking about other things. I just like the challenge of taking, uh, pushing the limit. Kind of a frontier, you yeah. know, with a new technology. Yeah, and for me, that's what, what drives me and that's what racing is all about, I think, is proving where those limits are and they will continually move um, as we progress through time. But I love being a part of that game. Well, we're having a great time watching you guys. Uh, love, to, love to be able to ride along, if you could kind of put in a word for me. Yeah, as long as you don't <laughs> want a seatbelt or a seat. Right, <laughs> I can hang on. Uh, Thank you so much. Lot, yeah. Thank you.